morning. I'm Diana Saucedo. 25 minutes after the hour, here's what's happening. Blackouts in West Texas are now affecting New Mexico residents, even in Albuquerque. New Mexico Gas tells us there are disruptions at Coronado Village Mobile Home Park and Volcano High School on the west side. The blackouts are also affecting people in Tula Rosa, La Luz, and northern sections of Alamogordo. Residents of Ruidoso also being affected. PNM says these outages are intentional. 45 minutes of them because of a transmission line that isn't working. They're asking everyone to conserve energy by turning off any unnecessary power and also turn your heat down below 65 degrees. We'll keep you updated on this. What well, is a good day to stay indoors and away from the cold? Here's a look at that forecast. Kristen Van Dyke joins us now. That's right, nearly record cold for many locations this morning. And then when you factor in the wind, it is dangerously cold out there. It feels like it's 42 degrees below zero in Grants, 40 degrees below zero in Taos, uh, 15 degrees below zero near that in the metro area, and, and anywhere from 15 to 25 degrees below zero in the southeast and even over in the northeast. So ranges, as far as this wind chill is concerned, anywhere from 10 to 40 or more degrees below zero. So uh, you can get frostbite very quickly in a half hour, perhaps even less than that and temperatures are going to stay on the dangerous side through at least 10 o'clock this morning for the metro area we're looking at numbers uh, right around three degrees below zero with the higher wind chill or the lower wind chill vial use and then going in toward the noon hour temps will climb to 12 degrees which is better than yesterday then more sunshine with highs right around 20 highs across the state only in the teens down across the southern part of the state 16 in silver city 22 in farmington 25 in raton and in the low 20s for the metro skies are starting to clear out with some lingering snow flurries down in the south East. We'll continue to see the frigid conditions and that snow move on out. Some light snow will be possible across the northern mountains this afternoon and this evening. Then drier as we head into the weekend, and then we'll see those temperatures warm too. A quick look at that seven day forecast shows temps finally above freezing tomorrow and into the 40s for the weekend. Albuquerque firefighters were very busy overnight with two structure fires. The first happened around 2 this morning when a mobile home caught fire in the 9300 block of Volcano in northwest Albuquerque. No one was inside. Arson crews are investigating how that one started. Then the second fire happened around 3.30 this morning in the 700 block of Tyler Northeast. Homeowner called 911 reporting heavy smoke and flames in the house. Crews are also investigating that fire. Of course, it is very cold. APS on a two-hour delay this morning, just like CNM and UNM. Rio Rancho schools are out for the day. You can check out all these updates on KRQE.com. Have a warm morning, everybody.